Should China's fiscal policy play a bigger role in softening the trade impact? So when it comes to fiscal, China does have fiscal space and we understand uh, that China is aware that the current tax dispute and the incre increase in tariffs on Chinese export, exports will have a negative impact on growth that will be partially offset by expansionary uh, fiscal policy in China. Since China does have the room to adjust in order to smooth the impact of these uh, trade disputes on the path of economic activity in China, we believe that this partial offset is appropriate. At the same time, it's crucial for China to continue engaging in the rebalancing of the economy that we have commented a few times before. As China pursues a high quality growth, China has announced numerous steps to cut fees and taxes this year, including corporate tax and uh, individual income taxes. What is our comment on those policies? So as is implicit in your question, the crucial challenge for China is to improve the quality of growth and not so much to emphasize the growth rate as such. It's very important that China rebalances its economy moving from investment uh, to consumption, moving from credit-based uh, growth to growth which is compatible with the gradual process of deleveraging. China has engaged in tax reform over the years and in the last decades, the improvements in the Chinese tax system have been quite marked. And we, in the Fiscal Affairs Department of the IMF, are very proud to have been associated with that process. The recent reforms that include uh, a simplification of VAT and a streamlining of the process of uh, VAT refunds associated with export activities, for example, are very important initiatives because they will improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of the VAT. Clearly, the VAT refunds are crucial for the overall function of the VAT, while the tax administration will naturally insist on safeguards to avoid fraudulent behavior. When it comes to the personal income tax, a number of initiatives are completely in line with past IMF staff advice. The only point where we would be reticent, reticent has to do with the deductibility of mortgage interest payments that may exacerbate the trend to favor debt financing, which is not in line with the rebalancing of the Chinese economy that we uh, were mentioning before. Another aspect that one might uh, perhaps consider would be to simplify the personal income tax system and uh, to focus more on some regressive elements of social uh, contributions uh, in China. It has been 40 years since China started to open up and uh, start economic reforms. What are the biggest achievements and uh, challenges in China's reform of fiscal policies over the 40 years? Well, there are many achievements. It's uh, quite remarkable how much China has progressed over these uh, 40 years. China has posted one of the strongest enduring growth spurs recorded in uh, world economic history. During that period, China moved from being a relatively backward economy to being one 
of the largest, most dynamic, and most important economies in the world. During this period, China moved from being a relatively poor country to being an upper middle income country and still growing strong. During this period, more than 800 million of people in China have been lifted off poverty. And I could continue. So clearly, there, has, there have been many successes. But at this point in time, as we uh, very much stress in the context of our uh, analysis of uh, fiscal policy, there has been quite a substantial buildup in debt and leverage in China. The authorities have started taking effective action about two years ago, and the increase in leverage has clearly slowed down. That process must continue, and the rebalancing and adjustment of the Chinese economy will have to take place.